Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and welcome to the next video in my Oh So Inspired September series. I hope you'll stick around, see how I'm going to be inspired today, and find out how you can play along. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. At the end of last month, I stopped by and told you about a new series on my channel. It is called Oh So Inspired September, and I am hoping to spend the month focusing on the supplies I currently have and creating new projects that are inspired by other artists out there. That intro video does go into detail about the challenge, so you'll definitely want to watch it. I have it linked in the description box below. Basically, I am asking my subscribers to submit inspiration links and then I'll stop back from time to time this month and create something new based upon the chosen pieces. There are a couple ways for subscribers to join in on the fun and I will tell you more about that later, but for now, why don't we talk about today's inspiration piece. Earlier on in the video, you saw me use random.org to choose today's piece, and before I sat down to create, I didn't know what my inspiration would be. Well, today's inspiration was submitted by Carmen B, who is Choose Joy with Carmen here on YouTube, and it is the card you are seeing on screen now, which is by Tammy of Swimming in Stamps. I will have the original pin as well as her blog post linked in the description box below. Now one of the first things that caught my eye was the layout. I really liked that and I noticed the like layered florals and the angle cut. Well even before I knew that this card was based on a sketch challenge, I knew I definitely wanted to use that same layout. So as I progress today, you'll see how I took inspiration from that. You may also notice some things I changed about Tammy's original card. For instance, instead of stamping behind the floral cluster, I will be doing a little stenciling. And for my skinny strip that goes along the slanted edge, I am actually just using some green pattern paper. Most of the supplies I use today are from Gina K Designs Watercolor Spring Card Kit. I have had it for a couple months and it has still been boxed up, so I thought this was a great time to get it out and use it, because that is the point of Oh So Inspired September for me. And although I do want you to consider finding stuff in your stash to use if you're inspired to create, I do know that some of you still like to know the products I've used. So what I can find, I will link in that description box below. Up on screen now, you're gonna see the stenciling that I mentioned a little while ago. The card kit came with a three-step stencil for a flower and some viney or leafy areas around it. And because the areas are so close together, I do have to use a lot of post-it notes for this and switch it out. Now the card kit came with two colors of like from light to dark inks, the pink and the green. So I'm going to start with the lightest and then move up to the darkest on each step. Also, because these areas are pretty close together, I am using some of my smaller blending brushes and my mom just got these for me at the Dollar Tree. They work great for smaller spaces like these stencils. If you do enjoy today's video and you want to see more like this, I will have the entire playlist for Oh So Inspired September linked in the description box below and it will be at the end of the video as an end card. Now let me tell you about the couple ways you can play along. First of all is by creating something inspired by today's inspiration piece. You can take whatever you want from it 
and create whatever you would like. For instance, maybe you just like that flower stamp set. Maybe you like the sketch as well, but maybe you feel like a tag would be better to make. It is totally up to you. If you do create something, I would love to see it. You can share here on YouTube or over on Instagram or TikTok with a couple special hashtags, which I will tell you about in a minute. You can also share your photo in my Facebook group. I do have a designated album for all of the oh so inspired September photos, and that will be linked in the description box below. If you're not already a member of the Facebook group and you do want to join, please make sure you answer all of the questions and agree to the group rules. If you do not do that, Facebook will not approve your membership request. The hashtags for today's video are up on screen now, so don't forget to use those if you post on social media. I can't wait to see what you are inspired to create. As I continue to work on today's card, I did want to point out a couple of things about the process. First of all, you saw that for my floral focal point, I used some ephemera pieces, and I placed these onto a vellum circle to help it stand out from that stenciled background, but also give you a little peek at what was back there. Most of the ephemera was just adhered flat down, but I did pop up that main flower. One thing that was super helpful, once I had my pieces arranged like I wanted to, I brought in a scrap of Glad Press and Seal to keep them in place while I did the gluing. Because I want to keep this series focused on the inspiration pieces and the end product, I'm not going to spend each video like normal voicing over every step. But I do want to let you know that if you see me do something on screen or use something that I don't address in the voiceover, you can always leave me a comment or question in the comment section below. And I will definitely answer those as soon as I can. Up on screen now are some close-up looks at my finished card. At the end of the month, this will be sent on its way to Carmen. If you enjoyed today's video, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until the next one, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.